I think one of the things I found most useful about SPP was that um, the staff were very approachable. I think they treated you as an individual. They tried to understand your problem, and they were helpful. So from the lecturers to the admin staff, you had the idea that they were not trying to fail you, but they were trying to make sure you do your best. And they understood the kind of problems that you might face. And I think as a student, I found, as an international student, I found that very unique about SPP, I think. One of the most significant things that, and I discovered this in my first week coming into UCL, um, was the intellectual standard of the students and the lecturers. And um, obviously, you sort of have to work up to that standard because you can't sort of fall back. Um, and the competition is important in order to develop yourself, and it's important in order to learn and to feel as though you're part of the community, the university community. So um, it's definitely what I wanted from this university when I came in, a challenge, and that's what I got. And I feel as though I've learned so much in this one year here, almost as much as I learned in my three years doing a degree, if not more, just from this one year. So it's intensive and it's tough, but um, if you put your mind to it and you work hard, you definitely get what you want in the end. It was just so apt to have such an international atmosphere um, in London, in, in the UCL environment. Obviously, we had connections with all the other universities as well which um, just heightened this experience. Um, I think, obviously, it was, it was an, an opportunity to, to broaden all our horizons and, and to be able to um, expand our, our network of, of students and of um, possible contacts in the future for all our future careers. Uh, I would just say, you know, to any prospective student, that the, the most important thing, I think, is to keep an open mind. Uh, I think in a cosmopolitan city, in a cosmopolitan school uh, or university uh, and program, you're going to, you know, experience and be confronted with a lot of different viewpoints uh, that you may not be used to. And I think at the beginning it will be a struggle. Uh, but I think the best way for students to succeed in these programs, other than do the readings, uh, is to keep an open mind and be, you know, be cognizant of, of differing opinions. Um, yeah, well I started IPP um, having come from a background of, in the arts, having studied French and Hispanic studies for undergrad. Um, and I was slightly apprehensive that it might be a little bit daunting and intimidating at first to be surrounded by people who might um, be more knowledgeable about the subjects I was about to study. Um, but really, actually, I found it really easy to fit in and um, the lecturers were all very friendly and approachable, so I didn't find it too intimidating after after the first couple of weeks and, and it was actually quite easy to adapt. Mm. I think, considering the fact that right now I'm applying for jobs, I think the key thing I've learned about the programme was compared to many MA programmes around, the MSc programme really covered a broad range of topics. So I come from a history background, but I was doing international public policy and the course touched on economic analysis, political economy of development. I see touched on theories of IRO research methods, which was just excellent because that kind of opens the door for anything I want to do. And I found that the quantitative aspect of the degree was very useful. I think that was one thing SPP did very right. I kind of came into this masters, you know, part time. I had my own work. I had a professional background and whatever anyway. Um, and I really, really wanted to kind of change course and take it into a much more international direction. And Having kind of done that and been very proactive in terms of the, the areas I wanted to cover and kind of getting a very, very broad, very comprehensive understanding of development, now I'm applying for jobs that I would never have even really thought that I could do before and, and getting interviews and going to them and, you know, really, really, it's completely changed kind of my professional capacity. So in that sense, it's probably very different to a lot of people who come here straight from university and you really, really do get very, very massive skills and practical knowledge which you can then apply. So I think that's probably the main thing. It was tough uh, to manage with the amount of material that we had because it's a lot of reading, a lot of pressure. And I think anyone that comes in, even from a political background, would find that difficult. But the nice thing about this university is that you can speak to your lecturers and they're very um, open to giving you advice as to how to deal with the material. Um, and they're very friendly. Um, not only that, but the university as a whole, you get support as well. So you can go to development courses. Um, for instance, you can do something uh, to build your confidence or if you've got a problem with procrastination, you can take a course to do that. Um, and also you can um, go and um, if you've got an essay and you want to improve the structure or 
uh, grammar or just the way that you write more critically, you can actually go and have an hour session where someone sits with you and goes through that essay in depth, which is really important because you don't want someone to just sort of skim through it and sort of go, oh, okay, you should do this better, you should do that better. But they actually sit with you and they get you to give um, your opinion on how you could improve. And that's important because it gets you thinking. And the whole point of this experience is to develop yourself and definitely does that. I came into the course wanting to learn a bit more about a development and the politics behind it and the theory behind it, um, having spent a year um, living in Mexico and Brazil for my undergrad degree and not really, um, well, having seen the inequalities that existed there and everything, but wanting to learn more about it and be able to work in the field. Um, and it, I feel like it really has set me up for um, a career in something related to development and human rights. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that I, I studied IPP. And it's just very interesting how everyone, like, as soon as you were a certain country, uh, you kind of knew your place in the world. And um, I, was South, I was in the South African delegation, so I mean, we kind of, although not like one of the big boys, we kind of had an important state because we were um, the, the closest country to the affected area. And um, no, it was very interesting how um, all the bargaining went on and um, you could see the kind of power politics at play. And um, no, it was good. Like, you could kind of make, I think you've got a better understanding of maybe the psychological aspect of things, um, which you don't necessarily grasp from um, the reading. So yeah, it was very good. I thought. Yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, research methods offered a lot of different skills uh, that I'll need. It's probably the most important course. Uh, unless you're from a science background, it's probably the most important course you'll take uh, if you're all of your education going all the way, even back to school. Um, but there are certain things you need in order to be successful in the current job market. One of them is analytical thinking. Uh, you need to be concise. Uh, I need to be able to pick out a certain amount of text uh, and find the key points. Well, you know, in some cases, because I'd be a little bit behind on readings, uh, I'd have to summarize 500 pages of reading in 15 minutes and take out the key points and be able to analytically process the information in order to make a positive contribution in class. Yeah, my dissertation field work, I actually traveled to Senegal. Um, so I went away, I think a couple of other students did the same thing. Um, a, a challenge, I, I definitely took it as that. Um, it could have been quite a, a disastrous situation had it not gone to plan. Obviously being away, being, being in a country that spoke not only um, a different language, but was culturally extremely different. I, I had to learn cultural rules, um, what was acceptable, what was not acceptable. I had to um, trans have my, my questionnaires and my interviews translated into all these, into the native language Wolof, as well as into French, as well as into English, so to be accessible to all the population. Um, but at not at, at any point did I feel um, frightened by this. I think the, the support that I had from the department and from my dissertation supervisor was was incredible, and I and I definitely saw it as a challenge, but a manageable challenge that I would embrace and engage with, as a part, as opposed to something that I would be um, wouldn't go my way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose applying for jobs now, what I you know you often have this thing must have good networking skills, and networking skills are quite hard to quantify to give kind of example of. But having turned up in a country and had one month to get to meet and interview virtually all the key players in an entire field is pretty, pretty intense. And it's you know, an excellent piece of you know, example of what's, what I've done. So that worked really well. I think it's been one of the most fantastic years of my life. Um, really quite life changing. I wouldn't, I, I honestly wouldn't change a part of any part of this year because I think I've gained so, so much of it and I've grown as, as a person as well as an, a student in the academic field. And I definitely feel equipped now to be able to enter um, my future career with the confidence that I can participate as, as um, an equal member of the international uh, political community. <laughs>